So there's a fairly good chance you're looking at the title of this video right now and saying why is she still talking about February? It's March! The reason for this is that I read a lot of books in February and I wanted to show you guys some of them, especially because I'm going to be reviewing some of them this month before I start my um, monthly schedule in April. So I just wanted to show you some of the ones that I read this month, or show you all the ones I read this month and then I'll probably tell you which ones I'll be reviewing. The first one I read I finished right at the start of the month and don't judge me for this, it is Style by Lauren Conrad and this is um, it's kind of a how-to fashion book, styling book, by Lauren Conrad, who is a television personality. I don't know much about her. This is the only thing I know of hers. I know she was on, like, Laguna Beach and the Hills and things, but I never watched her or anything. I read this actually as research because I'm going to be doing a video on my beauty channel about different fashion-related books, and I hadn't read this one, so I figured I would. I think I rated it, like, 3 out of 5 stars. If you don't really have a certain style yet, this might help you, but... I feel like if you're already established and you know what you like and you know like what you like to wear then this isn't that helpful but um it's still pretty it's got some nice pictures and things. The next is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and I haven't decided if I want to review this yet. I put a short review on my Goodreads which I'll link to down below but um I, I don't know if I actually want to review it yet or if I want to review it at all because it is kind of a younger book. It's lots of pictures, really gorgeous illustrations. Um, the original idea was by Sibone Dowd. Sibone Dowd? I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, I'm really sorry, but um, really amazing book. It's about a boy whose mom is suffering from cancer and it's just this monster comes to visit him every night and um, what the monster wants is the truth. So yeah, it's it's a really heartfelt, sad book. I definitely sobbed at the end of this. Rated that 5 out of 5 stars, I believe. The next was Stardust by Neil Gaiman, and I had tried to read this a really long time ago, but I found it really dense at the time. I don't know why. It's a really short book, but just the writing felt really strange to me when I first tried to read it. This was years ago, but um, it has Susanna Clark blurbed on the cover, and I really love her. Anyway, um, I love Neil Gaiman. I haven't, I'm really unexperienced with Neil Gaiman. I'm gonna read more of him this year. That's one of my goals. Uh, not a huge fan of this one though. I don't, I didn't like his fantasy as much as I hoped I would. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Uh, no particular reason. I just, it was an interesting story, but I found it really, eh, meh. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people will dislike me for that because this is a very well-loved book. The next one was Legend by Marie Lu. Definitely doing a review of this very soon. It's actually going to be my first review, I think, on this channel, which is exciting. I'm not going to say too much about this one since I am going to do a review, but it's a really great book. It's dystopian. It says at the top, if you like The Hunger Games, you'll love this. I agree with that, I think. It's, yeah, it's great. It's quick read. Read it in one night. I gave it four out of five stars. The next book I read looks like a monster, but it's full of amazing beautiful illustrations, and it is The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. If you know anything about me, you'll probably have seen me on the internet raving about this film. Hugo was my favorite film of last year, and I wanted to read this book before the Oscars was my goal, because I didn't read it before I saw the film, but before the Oscars was my goal, and I did that, and I think I'm going to be doing a film versus book comparison video. If you're interested in that, let me know. I have notes for it and I think it'd be a really interesting video. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. The story wasn't like the most in-depth thing in the world, but I really, really like the characters and things and I like it a lot. The next book was Wither by Lauren DeStefano and this I'm also doing a review of because I just need to talk about this book because I love it a lot. It's an amazing dystopian, just, just incredible, incredible. I love the writing, love the characters. Yeah, very excited to talk about this one as well. Five out of five stars. Next book I read on my Kindle. It was called Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. I'll put a picture of the covers here. Uh, I gave it 3.5 out of five stars. I'm doing a review of that one. And I did like it at the end, and I'm really excited for the sequel. But yeah, you can see more about that in my review coming up. The next one was Fever by Lauren DeStefano, which is the sequel to Wither. And I got it... This, I just ran out and got it when I finished Wither. And I read it the next day. I, I read it very quickly. Love this sequel. Another, I think I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm not sure. Probably 5 out of 5 stars. Doesn't really matter. It was amazing. Uh, really good series. Definitely on par with the first one, which is great because sometimes series tend to lag a bit. The next book I technically finished in March, but I could have finished it in February if I didn't have someone staying with me, so I'm just gonna throw it in with February. And that is Cinder by Marissa Mayer. I just hit myself in the face. That was great. Um, <laughs> and Mayer Meyer, sorry, I think I said that wrong a second ago. And yeah, it's a retelling of Cinderella with cyborgs, and I really like the story. I gave it four to five stars. 
4.5 out of 5 stars rather and um, yeah gonna do a review of that and I'm excited about it. Oh, I read a lot of books last month. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 books. That is pretty impressive I think because as someone who was going through a reading slump last year and just getting right back into it and reading 9 books, I feel good about myself. I feel great about myself. I only read one in January by the way and that was The Fault in Our Stars. I'm gonna keep that to myself now. I shouldn't have said that. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be a review of Legend, I believe. Keep reading and I'll see you soon. <laughs>